All right, for today's video review, you're gonna be taking a look at Transformers Generation Selects Antagony. Uh, yeah, ever since we first got that Legacy Inferno mold, I was hoping that they would do a new version of Antagony, who, if you don't know, was originally a BotCon exclusive character from back in the day that was a, you know, basically a black repaint of the original Beast Wars Inferno mold. And uh, yeah, it's nice to actually get a version of this character that is, I mean, you know, it's still Generation Selects, but it's not as exclusive as like a BotCon exclusive would have been. So it's great to actually have an available version of this character. And uh, yeah, no, I, this figure turned out all right. I mean, it, it made a few choices that I found a little bit disappointing, but for all intents and purposes, it's still a nice figure because it's based on the Legacy Inferno mold, and that figure is uh, uh, incredible. So you know, it turned out pretty well. She looks pretty good in her ant mode here, and yes, I said she because the original character was uh, another female Predacon, which is nice to see always. Um, but yeah, no, it looks pretty good in, in the ant mode here. I love the uh, the translucent purple here used for the eyes. I think that works really well. She has her nice metallic pink kind of stripes on the top there, which is, you know, obviously not as accurate to an actual black ant, but, you know, still looks pretty good there. Um, one of the big things about this figure that I think that they didn't really hit the mark with is the shade of purple that they used here. It's much more vibrant and saturated than the original Antagony had. The original Antagony was like a very, very pale, like almost just kind of like a purplish tinted gray. And I, I do think that you lose a little bit of that, you know, nice color scheme with the black when it's actually just like a much more vibrant purple but eh, you know it's, it's not the end of the world it's just I wish that the pl plastic color came out a little bit differently um, but eh, whatever uh, she comes with a couple accessories here she comes with the same gun that the original Inferno came with obviously now these uh these black pieces are things that I added on because uh, how they want you to store it originally is just peg it onto top on the top of the ant here, which I hate. I think that looks super stupid. Um, and, but basically the fix that I came up with for this is I just 3D printed these little black bars and plugged them into the holes that were already there on the gun. And then, you know, this allows you to just plug them into some of the gaps on the uh, the legs back here, just like that and stores underneath, which I much prefer. And again, you, you see how easy it is when you literally just intend it all to have the weapon store properly. It's it's not difficult. Um, <laughs> whatever. That's neither here nor there. But the uh, the other accessory that she comes with is kind of interesting. She actually comes with an alternate head sculpt, kind of similar to what they were doing with the uh, some of the bu buzzworthy Bumblebee figures, like especially in the uh, the Creatures Collide four pack. They all these separate head sculpts that were kind of, you know, included on the sprues from the original figure. But um, interestingly, the head sculpt that she comes with is a new version of the Transmetal Scavenger head sculpt from Beast Wars. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'll obviously show this off with the original one once we get to robot mode, but it, it's a nice head sculpt here. Um, I am a little bit miffed that this is the head sculpt that the designed, they decided to include with her, or even the head sculpt that they decided to put on the sprues, because... If you look at the original like box art of the or like the you know the original character design of Antagony, it's actually quite different from the original Inferno design because you know it's basically just like branching timelines here. They were working off of the same toy and then it was reinterpreted one way for the cartoon and reinterpreted a different way for Antagony's design. So they actually look quite different, especially in the head. And I was really hoping that they would include a sort of like more like toy accurate head sculpt like they have been doing for a lot of the up updated Beast Wars figures. Um so that you could have that be Antagony's head rather than, you know, the head that is more clearly based on the cartoon design for Inferno from Beast Wars. I think it's a real shame that they didn't do that. Like, you know, I, I'm happy to have the scavenger head, but I would have much preferred that they do like a more sort of, you know, design that was based on what Antagony actually looked like. Cause like, obviously they're going to use this mold. This is the mold to use. It's a repaint of Inferno. So you're going to use the Inferno mold, right? But you could give it a different head sculpt. We've done that with several other figures, even ones that like, they made a toy accurate head sculpt for like breakdown which is almost identical to the to the one that is the cartoon design, but they didn't do it. I don't know. It, it's a disappointment for me, but eh, whatever. We'll talk about that more when we get into robot mode. But yeah, in terms of comparisons in this mode, uh, just for a standard one, here she is with Kingdom Sideswipe, just so you can see what she looks like with an average size deluxe there. Uh, here she is with Legacy Inferno himself, just so you can see the uh, the differences there. Obviously, Black Ant versus Red Ant, kind of different paint distribution here. They kind of, you know, just did a pattern here of the things, uh, of the, like, paint apps, rather than the kind of, like, 
more subtle detail that they did on Inferno, which makes sense because a lot of that would get eaten out by it being black plastic anyway. So yeah, I think they look good together. Um, because I showed off Inferno with Waspinator in his review, I'm pretty sure. Here she is with the black version of Waspinator with, a, with Sky Wasp there or Parasite, whatever you want to call him. I think they look good together. And then just because of the fact that she includes this head sculpt, here she is with uh, with Transmetal Scavenger, just so you can see what their ants look like together. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all there is to ant mode. Uh, for transformation, obviously, it's exactly the same as Inferno. We'll just take off the gun wherever you have it stored and uh, put that off to the side for now. Uh, you want to take this top section of the, uh, the abdomen here and just untab it and rotate it up like that. Then untab the side sections from these pegs just like that. And then you can bring the entire leg section down kind of like at the hips. You can bring these back ant legs up and out of the way. Oh yeah, articulation for ammo. The, the, the front legs go up and down. These ones go side to side and these ones have joints. You know, if, you've, if you're familiar with Inferno, it's exactly the same. Um, and then we can uh, untab the legs from each other here and then kind of bring them up and double hinge them up at the knee till they click into place just like that. And then take the feet and rotate them around and make sure to flatten out the heel there as well. Then we can kind of angle this whole section up and then bring the waist piece down so you can rotate it around at the waist just like that. Uh, do we need to adjust the camera here? Yeah, no, I think she'll fit onto frame. Uh, and then for the uh, the robot mode arms here, they're just kind of tabbed into each other. So you just want to rotate them out, kind of bring this section around like this as you go, and then this this uh, this bug leg in like that. So that when you rotate it around and then unfold the elbow, these are kind of already in the, the correct orientation there. And just do that on both sides here. Then we can take the, uh, the ant head itself and it will split down the middle, uh, kind of revealing the robot mode head. And then you fold up the, the mandibles like that so they kind of interlock and then rotate them to the inside of the head here just like that. And then uh, we can plug these back together, bring up the little antenna here, and then bring this down till it clips into this purple piece here, just like that. And then last but not least, we can kind of mess with the little uh, butt section here, kind of bring these sections out and then take this kind of, you know, fourth fake, I guess, yeah, <laughs> bug abdomen section, because this doesn't actually, it ends up on the inside in ant mode, and just rotate it around like that to kind of complete the thruster section there, and then just kind of bring it down. And there we have Antagony in her robot mode. And uh, yeah, looks good, aside from, I think, the one glaringly obvious issue of having just, uh, you know, Inferno's head sculpt. Like, it still generally works for the Antagony design, because they are based on the original toy, but... Again, I would have liked to see a more toy accurate one or one that's more accurate specifically to that, like, you know, character design of Antagony. Uh, that arm was not quite rotated out, but eh, it's not the end of the world. It's just a little bit disappointing to see this be just a straight up uh, repaint of Inferno. And again, it doesn't help that the purple is kind of wrong, too. Like, it's way more saturated and, and like, darker than the original purple that Antagony had. So... Eh, you know, it, it, it's fine, but it, it's not what I would have preferred, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But yeah, articulation is obviously the same as Inferno. She's got a ball joint at the head here and then can still open at the jaw like that, which is still a nice touch. The shoulders can uh, rotate around like that and then hinge out to the side. She has a bicep swivel here and then also has just for transformation a little bit of uh, like forward butterfly joint there. Uh, double jointed elbow for transformation, which is nice wrist swivels with her little tiny <laughs> crabby claw, crabby claw, crabby claw hands, uh, waist swivel, hips can go forward and back and out to the side, thigh swivel, uh, knee joint that only goes about that far unless you unclick it, then it kind of goes about that far, but it kind of unjoints at the wrong sort of place. So it looks a little weird. Uh, and then the, uh, the feet can tilt out to the side and then can also tilt down for transformation, but the heels don't really, can't really fully go with them. So it doesn't really, isn't really all that useful. And then you can still do whatever with the, uh, this section. It still rotates, even though there's no like gimmick tied to it and the pieces aren't even like rotationally symmetrical. So that makes a little bit less sense, but I do find that these panels are a little bit looser on her than they were on Inferno, but it is nice to see some more painted detail on here. Like Inferno also had the paint, the inside of all these sections painted, but he didn't have a separate painted section for these little thrusters. And that does pop pretty nicely. So I appreciate that 
especially because there are some other areas in which he does not have as much painted detail as Inferno. Like there's really nothing on the uh, on the legs here, whereas Inferno had like the blue orbs and then also the bug legs, which obviously they're not going to paint her bug legs because the color matches already for her anyway, because, you know, the bug legs were black on Inferno, so these had to be black, whereas, you know, black plastic on black plastic makes sense. But it would have been nice to maybe get like purple orbs on the side here, but, eh, you know, not the end of the world. Um, but yeah, obviously we can give her her gun here. She can hold it like that, or you can use it to be the uh, the back thruster section and plug it in uh, like that. There's a little groove cut out on the gun there that just fits over the hinge and just plugs in like that. Makes for nice storage and then also uh, acts as that jet pack thing there. And then if you want to actually give her the uh, the head sculpt here, um, you, it's not too difficult to pop this head off the ball joint here but I was having a hard time actually getting this one on the ball joint, but it is, it does have a little screw in the back, which makes it a lot easier. So if you want, you can just unscrew that. Uh, you don't have to actually unscrew it all the way, just enough to kind of like loosen this a little bit just so you can more easily pop that on the ball joint there and then tighten that up just like that. And uh, yeah, I mean, if you want her to have a different head sculpt from Inferno, that's what she looks like with the, uh, the Transmetal. Uh, scavenger head sculpt. It's just, it, that's even less accurate to the original Antagony toy, so I, I don't know. And also, it, it's weird to have her standing on a shelf next to Scavenger, where it's like they've got completely different body types, but their heads look almost identical, so I do prefer this head because it is more accurate even to the original, um, you know, Antagony, but you've got that option if you, uh, you want to use it. Um, but yeah, you know, again, I would have much, much preferred that they do a head sculpt that is more accurate to the original Antagony. And then this one doesn't unscrew, so this would be kind of a pain because this is also on a hinge. So it's a, it can be kind of a pain to pop that back into place. But uh, let me see if I can do it here. Might have to pull this off camera. Almost. Oh, one sec. Okay, but yeah, you know, it's, I'm, I guess I'm glad that they included this. I'd rather they include it than not, but it's just they we could have done a better head sculpt I think that would have been more accurate to uh, the original Antagony design but yeah in terms of size comparisons in this mode here she is with uh, Kingdom Sideswipe again just for that average size deluxe comparison uh, here she is again with Legacy Inferno just so you can see some of the differences there like I said a little bit less painted detail or at least less variety of painted detail like you know, where he's got like the purple section on the shoulders. She doesn't really have anything there. Uh, she doesn't have really any of the, the leg paint. The waist piece is just one solid color rather than being two different colors. So it, no paint on the toes because they're black, but it, it's fine. She's just a little bit less visually interesting, I think, than Inferno, but still looks nice. Just would have looked a little bit nicer if that purple was the right shade, but eh, you know, whatever. Uh, here she is again with Sky Wasp, just for posterity's sake. I think that they look kind of cool together. And then here she is again with uh, with Scavenger from Beast Wars. And uh, yeah, you know, obviously I don't think that this would make like a good like new version of Scavenger. So I don't know why they included this piece on the tool to begin with. But there's here's what the head sculpts look like together. Obviously, you know, it's kind of just a smaller version of that. I think it's a nice recreation of that head sculpt. It's just, you know, a little bit smaller, a little bit more like sharp details, but still pretty good recreation there. Just, you know, I don't, <laughs> I don't really know what to do with it. Um, and then the other detail that that uh, she does have, which, you know, Inferno had as well, uh, is that if you like fold this open, she does actually have some sculpting on the inside of her ant head here, which looks more like the chest section for an uh, scavenger. But it's not like, you know, this is like an alternate transformation that you could use if they actually did this figure as Transmetal Scavenger, because like it doesn't, then the head doesn't clip into place on the chest and this just doesn't sit very well. So like, I don't think that that would be like a good, like, fan mode if they ever release this figure as scavenger so like i just again don't know why they put this head sculpt on that sprue when they could have you know done one that was more accurate to the more obvious repaint of inferno which is antagony but eh, you know whatever I'm just kind of beating a dead horse at this point but yeah that's what they look like together but uh yeah you know it, it's a decent figure just because it's using a decent mold but it definitely i still think looks nice but it just could have looked nicer if it had a different head design and uh you know a different shade of purple that was a little bit more accurate and maybe a few more painted details ultimately still happy with this figure but I find myself a little bit disappointed with it as a as a repaint overall just because it, it 
you know, no one was even really asking them to reinvent the wheel because you'd want most of the same, most of the body to be the same mold as Inferno. Just would have been nice if they had done a little extra care and and done a few different things. Um, but yeah, you know, is what it is. Um, but yeah, if you uh, enjoy my videos, make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. I do reviews every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Make sure to check me out on my Instagram account. That's toys.n.art. And without further ado, here we have Transformers Generation Selects Antagony.